Did Jamaica's government willingly disinvest in JUTC, the state-run bus company? I'm Khalilo Reynolds, financial journalist and educator based in Jamaica. So shots were definitely fired during opposition spokesman on finance Julian Robinson's budget presentation. One of the issues he aimed at was Jamaica's transportation system. I feel like we all know the issues with JUTC. They're always broken down. There's no schedule, no AC. You have to wait forever for a bus. And the list goes on and on and on. According to Julian, all of this points to the government's disinvestment in the JUTC. Now, the government has set aside $8.3 billion for the state-run bus company in the new budget. That's about 53 million USD. They say they're adding another 100 buses to the fleet. But the PNP is saying that's not enough because the current government has allowed JUTC to fall off badly. When we left office in 2016, yes. the JUTC carried 62 million passengers that year. Management. Yeah. 62. Proper management. The projection for 2024, as in the public bodies document, has the JUTC carrying 15 million. Plus, Julian said the JUTC is down to 180 buses from the 450 it had when the PNP left office in 2016. So even with 100 new buses, it's still nowhere near what it was. And it's not like the people have gone anywhere. But the reality is we don't have the buses to carry the people. And while there's been that disinvestment this investment in JUTC, we have also doubled the number of licenses for private parts. Yes, we have. So what has happened as a result? <laughs> Did you peep Nigel's epic eye roll? Anyway, so the PMP says this means more taxes are on the road competing with JUTC for the same passengers. And if the options are to wait two hours for a bus or pay extra for a taxi, a lot of people will choose the taxi, which in turn runs up inflation. Remember, we talked about that a few videos back. Transportation costs are one of the most heavily weighted factors in inflation. And with more competition from taxis, it's setting the JUTC up for failure. Now, Julian has proposed a solution. Even if we had the best functioning bus system, our urban centers are growing at such a rate that we need to explore other modes of transportation wherever they are feasible. Mr. Speaker, successive governments have looked at different options, have studied the problems, but we haven't necessarily implemented them. And while the idea of a light rail is not a new system, is not a new idea, Mr. Speaker, in our view, time has come for the introduction of light rail. Light rails are electric trains, so instead of the type of trains that carry bauxite, these are more modern. Now, like Julian said, this isn't the first time the idea has been mentioned. There just hasn't been any action behind it. But with the growing frustrations with JUTC, now might be the time. But it would require massive investment. I wonder how much a train costs, plus the whole infrastructure to run it. It's a lot, and that's the bottom line. So what do you think? Is it time for the government to invest in passenger trains? Would you prefer that over taking the bus? Let me know in the comments. We'll be covering all the budget debates over the next couple of weeks. Click the link up here or in the description below. Let's get this money. Let's get this money. <laughs> <laughs>